there, Richard from No Pants Profits, and welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. Today we've got a brand new series for you. This is the start of this new series. It's going to be called South Florida Shark Tank. You might go, hmm, I've heard of Shark Tank before. This is the South Florida version of Shark Tank, and this actually happened at the Allen B. Levan Center at Nova Southeastern University. This is a brand new, uh, brand new setup. It's kind of like a. I, I don't want to discourage them by calling it what it really is, but I just want to make you. It's kind of like a WeWork, like a remote working space or a Regis office. Uh, but it's so much more than that. Now we're gonna go back. Uh, I've talked to the guy who's the director of it. We're gonna go back for a tour. And I'm going to show you this whole thing. But what I want to show you is I want to show you there's going to be a playlist. The first eight pitches done here. So this is South Florida Shark Tank. I happened to go for a pitch night uh, and I heard pitches from eight different companies. So I'm going to show you these companies. I'm going to talk about it now. What gives me the ability to do this? Well, I, I sit and I talk about venture capital stocks all day, venture capital funding, seed round, pre-seed, series A, series B. If you haven't seen, definitely go ahead and check out some of the playlists on Sweater as well as Arc Ventures. But let's dig into the first one, which is called Rossi. We're going to listen to the whole pitch, and then we're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to listen to the whole pitch, and then we're going to talk about what went down uh, in the actual pitch itself. So the first pitch is for a company called Rossi. <laughs> so hi everyone, my name is Robert Blackwood, CEO and co-founder of Rosie Giving. Rosie is creating a community around all things charitable giving. So I'm sure you can agree, <clears throat> sorry my voice is going a bit so, but I'll try to put that. So I'm sure you can agree that it's not so easy and straightforward to give to local charities. You have to pull out your credit card, go to some clunky website, and then if it's a cash donation, forget about it. You, there's no possibility of tracking it. So it's just easier to push a button when you go to get groceries and go to some big national charity. We live in a world of convenience and we honestly give to the same few charities every year, although donors, especially millennials, prefer to give to local charities in smaller increments over time. So what's the deal? Well, it's an uphill battle for small and local charities. Big national charities can rely on their extensive network of partners versus a local charity that has to rely on their connection to the community. They have to put together a bunch of unreliable, disparate tools to actually try and engage a donor. And guess what? The donor isn't engaged. Donors do not revisit our website after the first time, and in a lot of cases, emails go unnoticed. Even when local charities send out email blasts, go through social media, and do fundraising, it all goes unnoticed. So while local charities are putting all of these disparate tools together, what's happening with the donor? They're not motivated, they're not engaged, and the biggest thing that we're trying to do is to have them continue to donate, and they don't. So with all that said, we get to Rosie, which gives you the entire solution and the entire pie. You get event management, you get communication tools, and you get to track all of your donations with Rosie. So Rosie is a charity marketplace for communities, for donors, for volunteers, and for companies. It's created to make transparency celebrated along with engagement. It's for all things charitable giving, and it makes it easier and more accessible to give in a transparent yet in an engaging way. So charities will have the ability to showcase verifiable information about its mission, its ratings, and its inspiring posts for donors and for volunteers. They'll also be able to run campaigns, have donation tracking, monitor app activity, and gain sponsorship for events. Donors all want choice in the palm of their hands. We all demand it as individuals, and Rosie will give you that. You will have the ability to choose causes and emergent needs. You'll be able to connect with the community, You'll receive recognition and badges for meeting your set donation goals, and you'll be able to allocate your donations to one or to many charities, all while getting a consolidated tax receipt. So employees, especially millennials, often take into consideration a company's social, corporate social responsibility. <laughs> Companies will have the ability to customize their 
their child development message on their company profile, and they'll also be able to show how they support their employees by, <coughs> sorry, by customizing their corporate giving program and also by attending events. So, how big is the market? <laughs> the market is actually huge, it's, it's big. In 2020 alone, $470 billion was given by donors to charities. The market is huge and ready for disruption, and actually this number keeps on going up year over year, and Rosie is ready to take advantage of this social and market trend. So, our revenue streams. We have transaction fees on every donation, and we have subscription fees that will be charged to charitable organizations and companies for access to the platform. We are evaluating future revenue streams based on our beta and our initial launch. So, our MVP is currently under development. It will be complete at the end of the year. We will begin our pilot program in early 2023. We will launch our full service in August 2023, and we will release additional premium features over the next two years. So what are we seeking? We're seeking strategic partners, cities, companies, charities, and schools to participate in our pilot program. We are also <coughs> open to discussing funding, and of course, we will love support in, getting, in gaining clients, small and large. So with that, thank you for your time today. Uh, please go to our website, Rosie Giving, um, and actually enroll for our pilot program because Rosie is making meaningful giving easy. So here's the thing. I actually like this concept. Now, he said MVP. I want to define that it's not most valuable player. It's minimum viable product, meaning it'll work. I'm just opening rosygiving.com. It's the minimal viable product. Uh, the minimal viable product is to kind of show that this is a product that can actually work, can get customers, can do a beta test, and everything like that. Right now, everything you've seen right now is theory. Now, I want to tell you the unique selling proposition here. And this was not in the pitch. I actually asked the founders. Here's what's cool. Let's say I want to give to 100 different local charities in the South Florida area, because that's where I am, and that's where this is based, uh, in the South Florida area. Well, instead of having to get tax forms from those 100 charities to file my taxes, what Rosie, Rosie has done is they have made a singular tax form. They have a uh, tax-deductible organization, which you donate to, and then that organization donates from there. It's actually brilliant. I talked to the four guys. I got to talk to the four founders. That's why I love what this center at Nova is actually doing uh, because you can actually talk to the founders. It's weird. There were, there were questions live. I didn't feel it right to have the live questions in here. So you're going to see seven more pitches after this that don't have the live questions because I, I wanted to ask the questions myself, if that makes sense. But I really do like it. I will show you, you know, this is still just a proof of concept. I asked, hey, do you have wireframes yet? What do I mean by wireframes? Do you have some baseline of your website? This is Rosie Giving, but really all it does is it kind of re-gives you the pitch, talks about basic ideas, talks about the team. I like the team. I, I talked to uh, Dan, John, Cladu, and Rob good guys seem like they know where they're headed and the thing is they're, they're not pushing that usp enough in my thought the unique selling proposition of yes you know they were saying you go to the register and you give the money at the register we have a local thing called Publix down here in south florida and we have a delicacy called the pub sub and you know when you go at your pub sub certain times a year they'll ask on a little credit card machine do you want to round up to ten dollars you know from nine dollars to ten dollars and and give some money there um, I think what they really, really need to focus on, again, I love the concept. Uh, it's pretty much a full stack solution for charity giving for the charity. And that's a benefit. So they don't have to have a CRM. They don't have this. They don't have that. That's what they want to build out. They want to build that out. And it's kind of like a social network. And what I asked them about very, very interestingly, is I said, you know, one of the things I don't give much money to charity. And the reason I don't give much money to charity is most charities use overhead. I hate to talk about this charity, but they're the most evil charity in the world is the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. 
because they spend a huge percentage of the money that comes in suing other charities for using the color pink to raise money. So I told these guys, I said, you know, I like that idea. I like what you're doing, but, you know, it would be awesome. And they're, they're working on some transparency, getting in some transparency on all these companies. I think this is something that, you know, they will have a minimum viable product and they will use this minimum viable product in South Florida. And I think it's great. It's going to make tax time a lot easier because, again, you're giving to their foundation and then their foundation is giving to the chair to the charities that you want to give to. So I think that's absolutely awesome now right now again it's a single one page website which pretty much tells you exactly what is on the pitch uh i like the pitch i like the site i like the guys but remember again not much exists quite yet this is very 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 early stage but i am gonna leave all the contact for Rosie below. And if you want to get in touch, I, I think it's a really cool thing. I'll tell you, Rob, Rob's the guy I like. Uh, cause look, here's, here's the important thing. Rob, the guy who presented, he's the one that's got that USP. The one thing I've never seen before is that you give to a charity. It gives to other charities, makes your tax time easy. Cause look, let's be honest at the end of the day, the main reason people give to charity is uh, to get the tax write off. Sorry, but it's true. I like Rossi. A meaningful giving made easy. Again, still no minimum viable product yet, but hopefully in the future they can be successful. We're going to take a look at some more of these with Shark Tank in South Florida, and I hope you enjoy. There's going to be a whole playlist at the end. Have a great one. Bye. Well, wait. Have a great one. Oh, yeah, hold on. And remember, when you invest in these, if you can invest in these, you have to be a qualified investor to invest in these. Uh, remember that, uh, much like me, when you're wearing no pants, all you got left to lose is your shirt. Got any questions? Leave them below. Have a great one. Bye!